What's up guys, so we just got a new Red Dead Redemption gameplay trailer, and of course along with that gameplay trailer, we're going to have a new Red Dead Redemption 2 animation uh, review, so let's go right into it. So starting off with the trailer, one thing I have to say is I absolutely love the blending and animation. How they blend from cutscene uh, to actual gameplay is something that was actually finessed with God of War. And it seems that it is just as good in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's a great thing to see how they do that. Now one thing I'm curious to see is if they have a different walk cycle on ground as opposed to in snow or as opposed to let's say going through the swamp which they did in the first trailer. Because in the first trailer it very much looked like he was you know lifting his foot extra high to get over the monkey waters and stuff like that. So that'd be something I'm interested to see if they really go that really really you know fine attention to detail in this game. Now this shot, I would bet my life that everyone overlooked, but you have to you have to pay attention to detail here because there is so much going on in this simple little action. I think that's a testament to the skill of the animator. There's a beautiful moving hold in the body as he looks uh, at the train. Notice how the arm is leading the movement as it goes down the torso and the head follows. Now, my time as a, uh, a personal trainer, his knees, upon lifting up from the squat position, his knees actually go in. This is usually a sign of weak glutes. So hopefully, you know, in the game, he's, he's working out his glutes, doing some squats properly, get some help with that. Uh, <laughs> going forward, he leads with the shoulders on the way down. Notice, notice that not everything is going at the same time. There's no twinning. Now, one thing I don't get is the three frame movement of the right arm as it rotates out as he pushes, you know, the trigger down. Maybe it's done to, to emphasize the movement, but I think it also highlights the, the, the deadness of the left arm, because that arm just stays still like it's completely IK. Next up, we have this beautiful shot. They're really, they're really showing off right now. You gotta be, <laughs> gotta be honest with you, they're showing off. Um, this beautiful shot where it's, it's very early, and the reason why I say that is because when he brings his hand to his mouth, you can see his breath. Right? You can see that it's extremely cold, so that lets me know that it's early in the morning. There's a nice little shot of the bird flying by. This now leads us to, I think, I probably would say this is my favorite shot in the whole trailer. And it's gonna be this shot where he punches this guy in the gut. And you can tell that the emphasis is really sold by the anticipation. I mean, look at the windup he does <laughs> to before he gives this guy a really good gut punch. I mean, this is, this is a huge windup in order to punch this guy in the stomach, and you can really feel it. Now, when going through this animation, one thing I thought that was interesting was the spacing. So, it seems to slow down as the punch gets closer to the stomach, and if I had a guess, I would say that they did this for, for clarity. Even with that slowdown, it still feels weighty. It definitely seems like he's gonna be going to the hospital pretty soon. Like, it, there's some probably broken ribs with that punch. And this is also enhanced by the camera zoom for, you know, that added impact. Um, in addition to that, the guy the guy moves up from the force of the punch just a few inches uh, when, it, when it initiates. So, it's interesting to see, even with the spacing that they had, you still feel that weight and that impact of the punch. And the camera movement isn't isn't big. They're not compensating for poor animation with camera movement, which you know some newbie animators tend to do. But it enhances it. It's just a little small zoom in, just to sell that that force of the punch. But it's really the emphasis of the animation. That's the key here. Next up is this walk cycle. This walk. <laughs> when I saw this walk. I, I can't help but laugh every time and the reason why I, I don't know if you guys you know catch it but the reason why is because it's it's the positioning of his belt it emphasizes his hips now if you look at his hips move it seems as though it's a, a very female effeminate walk it seems like he's strutting down the runway <laughs> but if you remove that belt if you place a little bar over the over his hips or whatever it goes back to normal, it goes back to, you know, a regular, you know, man walk cycle. I thought that was so funny, and you guys have to pay attention to that, of how much uh, you, you tweak hip movements or how much you sway and stuff like that, because it's, it's a fine line between, let's say, you know, an effeminate walk or a masculine walk, um, and you need to figure out whether or not that's part of your character. Now, if this person, you know, you have, you know, a homosexual sheriff in the game, then I, I get it. I, like, I'd understand, but this walk, it, it makes me laugh every time because it looks like he's strutting down the runway. Kills me. Now, this isn't anything super, but I do love the little, it's a little, it's a small detail that, that makes everything count, and that detail is going to be when he flinches when he's shot at. Nothing crazy, but I do love seeing that. This now leads us to the stab. And this stab, I hate to say it, I know this comes off a little weird, but this stab is great. 
as far as animation goes, I don't know if the guy deserves it or not, but as far as animation goes, this stab uh, is great. It's actually the opposite of the punch because it speeds up as it enters the chest, which is why what made the, the punch so so weird is very similar to the bouncy ball. You have it, you know, a little slow at the top and then it speeds up at the bottom. Um, You really feel the weight in this animation. That is sold by the whiplash of the head and neck. You can see that there's really force being applied to him when he's stabbed in the chest and then, you know, you get a little anticipation and then throw to the ground. So guys, if the punch was my favorite shot of the entire trailer, this has to be my second favorite shot of the entire trailer. And this is gonna be the shot where he has a revolver and the double barrel, what seems to be a double barrel sawed off shotgun. And look at the difference in the kickback he gets from both of these weapons. Compare the kickback from the revolver to the kickback of the sawed off shotgun. Like it is night and day and that really sells the weight. There's also another shot later on in the trailer where he shoots one handed with the, the double barrel sawed off shotgun and can really feel the weight of that gun and the kickback it has um, in that little small shot that they show. One that I do wish they would have added, it was probably a little more kickback to the revolver, just a little more, just to emphasize that, but overall, I, I love the contrast. So the next scene that caught my eye, which I'm not really not really the biggest fan of, is gonna be the wood chopping. I feel like the spacing uh, could be enhanced a little bit. Uh, it seems a little bit, you know, even towards the end of the swing. Um, I'm not sure exactly what, you know, what's funky about it. I feel like it just doesn't have that oomph. Um, it's nothing big, but it's still, you know, it's something to, to, to keep an eye out for. Finishing up the trailer, we do have this chokehold sequence. And I love this sequence. And the reason why I love this sequence, let me tell you, it's not because our, you know, our protagonist is getting his butt kicked. But the reason I love this sequence is look at the weight that this guy is putting behind those punches. Like he is really putting all of his weight behind his punches. That's how you can tell someone has done their homework. Because anyone who's thrown a punch and anyone who's thrown a, a, a punch professionally know that it's night and day if you put your weight behind the punch. The second punch hits him and it hits him hard. Like he folds up almost like a chair. But that third punch, look at this third punch. It makes his whole body like sway, almost just, you know, knees buckle. Like he was Mike Tyson or something. So it's great to see that type of weight performed and shown in what seems to be, I'm guessing this can be like a little QTE sequence where you have to tap, uh, you know, square to get out, of, uh, get out of the headlock. But it's great to see this level of quality in such, you know, a minute, you know, situation. So last but not least, to finish this off, we have the introduction of, of first person mode. Now, I have to say, it's not gonna be the same quality as the actual first person, you know, game like Call of Duty or something. And you can tell just by, it's, it's the subtle stuff. So if you look at how he moves the gun, it feels very stiff. Usually animators, what they tend to do is when someone you know moves the camera in a first person uh, shooter, there'll be a subtle overlap with the gun in the hand. It'll be a very subtle, you may not notice it, but if you go and play Call of Duty right now and you move the camera real fast, the, the, the hand will subtly overlap. So that's definitely not to knock the first person in this game. It still looks good. Um, for it being included in this game, but it's of course isn't going to be the same level of quality as you would with an actual first person uh, shooter or first person game. Um, overall, this is looking phenomenal. I, I, I tried my best not to, not to point out just the graphics of this, because this is mainly focusing on animation, but the graphics combined, combined with the animation, this is going to be breathtaking. If they have a, a, a compelling story, Guys, th this is going to be a treat, and I, I say game of the year, in my opinion. I haven't played it, but for what, it, what it's looking like, it may be game of the year. Anyways, guys, that's a video. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you found some value out of it, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, guys, keep animating.